Hello, 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 it's Knits for Sanity, and welcome to days 14 and 15 of my zesty advent calendar from Add More Zest. I have finally had some stuff catch up with me, and I am not feeling very well. So that's the reason why I'm doing two days today, and I'm not sure what the future day or two holds, but um, thank you for joining me today. So I think for... Um, Today, I'm just going to share just a quick little story, and then I'm actually going to fast forward you, and you can watch me finish both squares in super high speed. I will come back after each square is done, just to show you what it looks like up close and finished. Um, but today will be both shorter and longer <laughs> than what you are used to. Um, so my son is my baby, and the children are all home today if you hear the ruckus in the background they had a snow day today uh so it's it's noisy here definitely um <laughs> so if you hear sudden outbursts in the background it's just my children <laughs> being children um and specifically what the two you may be hearing right now are my younger two who it's my son that I'm talking about he is first grade, seven years old. And then my daughter, who I was going to say she's 10, but she's not 10 anymore. She turned 11 last month and she is sixth grade, actually. The two of them are playing in the other room, which is great. I don't want to interrupt that. Um, and I'm just going to hope that it doesn't bother you guys that much. Like I've talked about before when this same series, I, I typically like to try and have my videos be a more peaceful experience for all of you because I consider some of you are probably like me. You have very chaotic lives with children who add to the chaos. I mean, it's a wonderful chaos, but sometimes you just need that quiet spot to go. And typically I like to try and offer that quiet spot for you, but that's just not possible with this much recording that I have been doing. And it is the holidays, and I, I guess I kind of feel like holidays are about sharing friends and family, and so I'm sharing a part of my family life with all of you, who I consider to be YouTube friends, I guess we could say. So anyway, my son is my only remaining Santa believer in the house, and he is involved in a number of activities, including he has dance classes Mondays in the afternoon, early evening. And I pick him up from school just 15 minutes early. Oh boy. <laughs> that pen just went flying. All right, hold on a second. I'm gonna get that pen back. I'm back. <laughs> like I said, I am not feeling well. And so I'm clumsy. I'm having a tough time. <laughs> Anyway, my son, I pick him up from school Mondays a little early to take him to his dance classes. It's hip hop and tap is what he is taking right now. And this past Monday, um, well, and I should say, I often love the conversations that I have with him in the car because we're in the car together for quite a while then every Monday. And it can be so enlightening to hear from him and just his thoughts on different things. And he's a funny, funny little kid. Very smart. Um, it's just, it's always amusing to hear his different insights and whatnot. Um, so anyway, I'm having a little, I'm not sure what got on my canvas here, but this is a mess. Here, I, you know, I keep trying to tell you guys a story and I... <laughs> keep having all these problems. Huh. So anyway, this past Monday when we were traveling home, he suddenly asks me, Mom, does being in the car count? And I'm, you know, I'm, I'm confused. You know, I'm not sure what he's talking about. And I'm like, what do you mean? Does being in the car count? And he says, well, you know, for, for the elves. Oh. Well, here in the U.S., that whole elf on the shelf thing is huge. And it is now a very ingrained part of Christmas tradition here for a lot of young kids. 
And so for my son, he has an elf at home. There are elves at school. You know, there are elves, what feels like everywhere, that are, you know, watching him to report to Santa. But the one place that he's noticed that there aren't any elves is in the car. So I said to him, oh, so you're wondering about, you know, if you still need to be good in the car, even though there are no elves in here. Yeah, he says, yeah. And I said, oh, yeah, you still got to be good. They still know what's going on. So he pauses to consider this. And then, then he says, oh, there must be tiny invisible cameras in here. <laughs> and I just chuckled and I said, yeah, you could be right. And then he starts feeling around in the car. And he says, I want to see if maybe I can find one of those invisible cameras. <laughs> so just super, super cute. And by the way, he is a phenomenally good kid. <laughs> you know, very rarely do we need to have a discussion about his behavior. Although we did have to have a little talk last week because he had gone underneath the seat on the bus. And so the bus driver did contact me and say, you know, would you please tell your son that, just remind him that he needs to stay in his seat when he's on the bus. And I said, yeah, absolutely. Thank you very much for letting me know. And then she did say, he's always so, so good, but all of my kids are just really acting up right now. Um, she's like, I, you know, it might be the the holidays and I, I wrote her back and I said it's definitely the holidays she's a relatively new bus driver I said it is most assuredly the holidays these kids are all so excited so other other than you know having to have a talk about behaving on the bus he actually is a really really good kid well guys like I said that was kind of a little know nothing story that took a whole of about four minutes and that included all of the interruptions but my voice is really about done, so I'm just going to speed you up now. I'll come back when I'm done with square 14 to show you that, and then I'll carry on with square 15.
Okay, so this is day 14. Um, cute little lantern hanging here. This is maybe the first square where... Eh, I feel like maybe another color could have helped it. Just um, with having the same color. You know, this is supposed to be like the clear and then this is your candle lit part in the center here. But maybe if there'd been another color option to put inside of the lantern here, that maybe would have helped. It's still super duper cute. I mean, don't don't misunderstand me. But this is maybe the first day where I feel like the square didn't perfectly work. Um, but still very, very cute without a doubt. All right. Well, guys, I'm going to move on to day 15. And you can watch me do day 15 in fast motion. And I will show you that one when that one is done.
back. So day 15 is completed. Um, you know, this day 15 too. Days 14 and 15 just aren't my favorite on this calendar. I mean, I still love it. I still think it's an amazing calendar and it has been so much fun to do. Just days 14 and 15 are kind of, eh, they're probably the most meh of all of the days on the zesty advent calendar. But you know, if this is, if this is my greatest disappointment, I really have nothing to complain about, do I? Because they're still fabulous. All right, guys, I gotta go. I gotta go back to bed, I think. Um, at some point, day 16 will be up. I'm just not sure when, but um, thank you very much for coming back and watching days 14 and 15, and I hope that you do return for day 16 whenever I manage to get that one done. In the meantime, please practice kindness, especially this holiday season. You never know what someone's going through. And I hope that you are having a wonderful, wonderful day, and I will see you again real soon.